we have SkyX running a mighty QSI camera, RoboFocus controller, all running on a Raspberry Pi, and a Starlight Auto Guider. We're going to use scripting to automate the try to automate the SkyX. Let's see. We're going to go to our folder where our file is, which is this is our file. Here's a little shortcut. We're going to open this folder in the terminal window, which is a little shortcut that I found out, which is great. And here is the command line I'd like to run. Run target, which is that file that we talked about. Here's our here's our actual target, and these are the exposures that I would like to take. 10, 5, 5, 5. Happens to be filter one, two, three, four. Happens to be LRGB in my particular filter wheel. So I'm going to highlight this line, copy. I'm going to paste this into the terminal and hit enter. And let's and we're going to watch what happens. Let's complete uh, 25 exposures, total of 125 minutes. Doing a 10 second delay, looking for the target. We're still into a target. Let's go into SkyX and follow the script and see what it's doing. We're already slewed to the target. It's taking an uh, image link. Let's go back to the script. Succeeded in. So now we're going for a focus run. Let's follow that. Currently, the mount flew off the target. It went to a, a focus star, and it's going to run a focus run. Let's see how that works. It looks like it's going to succeed. That's a pretty good V curve. Back to our script and see what's happening. So now it's going soon back to the target. I'm really impressed with this so far. Oh, it started the guider. Let's look at our guide graph. And at the same time, let's look at our script to see what that's doing. It's measuring the error. I believe it started the first exposure. I'll be back when the exposure is complete and we'll check out the results. So I'm back. Uh, our first exposure is almost done. About 15 seconds left. We'll wait for that to finish and download. We'll watch it uh, live here. It should show up here when the download is complete. Exposure is complete. Currently it's downloading. There you go, this is our first sub of the night, which is pretty cool. You see the chain right here. Very nice. Uh, let's see what the script is doing. Oh, um, by the way, this script is written by Ken Starak, uh, our, one of our friends uh, from Cloudy Nights, which is I'm very grateful to, that he took the time to write this script, and he shares it. Uh, with everybody. He actually did a presentation of on the Astro Imaging channel explaining how to write scripts for SkyX. And he also explained to me that when the image is done, uh, his script runs some st uh, statistics on the image. Should take about a minute. In the meantime, our uh, guider is still going. Which Pretty nice. Curious to see what kind of processor we're we using. So we're not using a lot of processing power. A filter name, temperature, focus position, and FWHM number. But our next exposure already started. It checked the guide, I guess. Um, it looks like it's going down the filters. Now it's doing the red uh, filter. I'll be back when this uh, script is done. So we're checking up on our script running. It looks like it's a dither right here after it 
went through the four filters that I asked it to do. We went through L, R, G, B. And after that, I did a dinner, started guider again, waited for the guider to settle, and started the next exposure. It's doing good so far. We'll check back when it's completely done. So we're looking at it uh, in the morning to see what happens. It looks like uh, at 5.30, we determined that it's twilight and we talk to the system. The telescope is parked, the camera is disconnected. Awesome.